Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Question of the day. Do you have a favorite racket? Well, of course you do, right? But do you have a favorite racket of your bunch of rackets? Stay tuned. Alright guys, so uh, before I get started, um, got the 2.0 t-shirts in stock, tennisspinusa.com. Uh, Want to support my coffee habit? Buy me a coffee backslash tennis spin. So the site, a, a, a lot of you guys have said, hey, how do I buy you a coffee? So you go to a website called buymeacoffee.com. And then you type in tennis spin, and then you can just uh, kind of PayPal it to me through that uh, network or site. Okay, buymeacoffee.com. Thank you in advance. Okay, so what am I talking about today? Well, person by the name of Anthony Bautista. Uh, his subject line said, Racket Specs on a Radical Pro 2020. I'm reaching out to ask about a problem I have discovered regarding my rackets. I bought a couple head Radical Pros last year from Tennis Express in a four and three eights. I'm a former open junior player and high school singles number one in LA. I played off and on throughout college and grad school. I am now getting serious about it again. I realized that in the past year, I've gravitated towards one of my rackets more than the other, like most people do. But I realized that I could significantly feel a difference in just a general weight of one. I did not like even having to swing it. I recently bought a food scale to determine the weight and the one I liked was 11.5 ounces strong while the other was 11.8 ounces strong. How do I go about avoiding these problems in the future, especially if I ever buy online? With regards to my current situation, who can I even contact? The other racket is so different that I almost don't even want to use it. Um, I should add that I'm a big fan. Of, I am not a big fan of the new Radical 2021. Uh, its weight specs actually feel a bit like the racket I don't like. Thanks for any help and guidance. Okay, Anthony. So, Anthony's problem is actually a very common problem. I've had the same problem in many instances in my tennis career too. Uh, back when I played in you know juniors and in high school and even in college, um, I've always had three rackets. And for some reason, I've always gravitated towards the lightest of the three. I, for some reason, that was the most banged up. That was the most used. I strung that one the most. Um, it's just the one that felt the best to me. Um, I mean, I have three Clash Pros. Excuse me, I have three Clashes here that aren't the same, but it's okay. So let's say, for instance, these three Clashes in, in a four and a quarter, okay? I can pretty much tell you that they won't feel identically the same just because I randomly pulled them off um, the hook. Uh, what, you know, unfortunately, you know, that's kind of why I started customizing my racket just to kind of make sure that the weight and balance um, swing weight is as close as they can be. But but then again, I'm not playing it off of the stock versions. I'm adding weight. I'm changing balance, right? I'm altering swing weight. Um, so Anthony's problem is very common. 
if you want if you want identical rackets though uh, you will have to call and request that from the online guys and from what i understand they will do that for you they will actually weight balance and swing weight them for you to get you the specs or to get two matching ones uh, or even three matching ones uh, in your hands but here's the caveat to that though although the numbers are identical they may not feel identical because i've seen that happen in many instances too so unless you have the rackets in your hand that you can kind of feel and swing and do kind of a this kind of a test right they the weights can be altered too even though specs are the same because um, the manufacturers can't control where the weights kind of lie in the racket so you can request them i mean what i would suggest is maybe request three or four and then do the the the, the test that you do here you know which is kind of you feel the balance in your hand you do a little bit of swing weighting yourself um, and then you go to the next one it's going to be here these are pros but i'm just showing you as an example that you know is it there does it feel the same right see the the thing that we're trying to avoid is like i use the word clubby you know because it feels like a club um i know that a lot of the rackets feel clubby and then some just kind of feel too light in your hand but people seem to gravitate more towards the light ones versus the clubby ones so it sounds like um, anthony has a light one or one that's on spec and then a clubby one and then the clubby one seems to have too much weight kind of here and out and that's why it feels kind of like a baseball bat. So that's what we mean by clubby. And it can be just a slightest weight, but it kind of throws it off that way. Um, but I mean, maybe if you have a pro shop that's close by, uh, kind of feel it out. Um, if you're relying on the online guys, I would say just order four of them and uh, but call them up and say, can I get four at the same spec? Uh, they, they may be able to get you four at spec, but they'll definitely be able, they may not be able to get you four at perfect spec, but they should be able to match four for you so that there's no differences in the racket, at least on the scale and on the, the weight um but that's kind of the only way you can do it without you know walking into a store and touching feeling um, and having them do the same for you okay so common problem um not too simple to fix but definitely there are solutions okay thank you anthony for the question um if you had this problem before let us know uh, from my own experience this is very common all right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.